Jim Splane has served decades in the New Hampshire legislature and as a former city councilor. He also helped make New Hampshire the first in the nation primary. Yes, we had a first in the nation primary since 1916. We had a primary that came before any other state's primary or caucus. Um, right up through the early 1970s, but then other states challenged us in the early 1970s, 1972. So it became clear that we were going to lose our status as first in the nation, at least starting the next cycle in 1976, unless we found a way to be able to keep New Hampshire first. So that's why I sponsored the legislation in 75. The law now states that New Hampshire gets to be at least a week or more before any other state. The governor at that time was a Republican. He was thinking of running for president, so he supported my bill, and we ended up passing it. In those days, Democrats could talk with the Republicans, and Republicans could talk to Democrats. Uh, we were able to communicate with one another. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't occur quite so much. There's so much partisanship in states as well as, of course, nationally. New Hampshire has faced challenges to its first in the nation spot and uh, national parties can't do anything about it. They certainly tried this year. Uh, other states can't jump ahead of us because we pay for our primary. We can have it whenever we want. He's referencing the DNC's push to have South Carolina as first in the nation. Splane wrote to the DNC as opposition to the effort and that New Hampshire would continue the tradition. Since we are a small state, it is less expensive for candidates to be able to run here and more likely that they are able to meet people. I mean, talk with people face to face, eye to eye, one on one. And that's a factor that simply does not occur in a place like New York State or California or Michigan um, or some of the southern states or Florida. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.